Hey guys, Derpy here! And for the foreseeable future until Cat gets more merch! But we have some great merch today, guys! We have some brand new posters of Karina and my series! I might be a little biased, but I do like my poster! You guys don't even need to get them as posters! We have notebook versions so that you guys may write down your dirty little secrets into it! We will judge you. Anyway, enjoy the video, guys! The content within this video is not suitable for children. Viewer discretion is advised. Did you see what I mean? Did you- did you see it? <sighs> they didn't even key out the green screen. Well, at least. Like, you could still see- I mean, you could see they tried. It might be surprising, Miss Bailey, but I highly doubt some researchers, families are the effects artists. I mean, you were- were you surprised my family was, like, a bunch of free-spirited artist people? I'm sure there's gonna be a few people, they just have another time to shine. Perhaps. But it's not exactly... exactly what I envisioned. Exactly. You know, I feel, and maybe I'm just, you know, saying things, maybe, you know, maybe you and my dad can maybe, maybe write a book or something together. Uh, just... Hmm? Hmm? That'd be fun. Hmm? <laughs> hmm? I, I think I'll pass on that, Miss Bailey. Okay, Thank but you know, my dad is wanting to write again. Would be a good excuse to get him doing that. Perhaps. Perhaps. <sighs> I really I needed this. This was fun. Yes, it was fun. I mean... They really didn't try to key out anything at all, did they? I mean, an effort was made. Was it good? Maybe not. But it was an effort nonetheless. It didn't even look good, Bailey. Well, the story is really where it's at, you know? You watch it for the story, not for the effects. In a hundred years from now, they're gonna probably put this out on the screen. The first movie produced down here. And that is quite a feat, is it not? Just wish it looked better. Well, it's okay. You know, um, I could... I don't want to be George Lucas from down the line and they remastered or anything. I thought it was just going to be the one and... <sighs> you don't even get what that means, do you? I do. Sort of. You don't at all, do you? No, I'm just kind of just kind of happy to be here. Um, well, you know, a nice distraction from all this would be this. Um... Nice distraction from all this would be, you know, I was, you know, talking about my idea or something earlier with one four seven one. A good question I have for you. Um, I I kind of want to get started on testing that like really soon. Do I? I have a like a um uh what is it um like a th like not a theme you know like I have a paper I wrote on. Why I want to come do this, like, test. Conduct the test. Yes. So do I have to, like, submit it to anybody? Like, anybody in 05? Why would you have to submit it to anybody? So that they know what I'm doing? If the classification of the SCP itself reaches that of Theta, and... Well, maybe a little lower, but... 1471 is not exactly a dangerous SCP. You don't need permission to research them. Yeah, well, how are they going to know what I'm doing, then? You'll send a report after your findings. Oh. Okay. I guess that's It'd that. It'd be different if you're researching much other SCPs. Much more dangerous. For that, you'd have to conjoin with another team and work together, operate as one unit, practically. Okay. I see what it is. Well, I guess that means I can show up early tomorrow and get some stuff set up for the tests. Suppose so. What exactly is it that you're wanting to do again? Wanting to see how communications go with 1471, what we can discover with them. Oh, right. Hmm. I mean, I've well. already kind of have a friendship with them, so... Maybe an acquaintanceship is better to say it, you know? 
Perhaps you'll find out then. Yeah. Good luck to you, Miss Bailey. I'm going to, um... I can help you clean up. It's only the bottle of wine. I think I can manage that. Well, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll go put my glass down then. Am I too old for you, Miss Bailey? No, I just wanted to be a nice person. Too fragile. Yes, Dr. Harkman. If I breathe on you wrong, you might just die. Hmm. That's I a joke. Please don't do now. that. I won't die, Miss <laughs> Bailey. Okay. Well, um, I'm gonna head off then. Get ready for tomorrow. I'll see you at work. Maybe in the hallways? Or however we do that? Perhaps. Yeah. I can at least help you with writing the reports. They can get very tiresome at times. Yeah, that's all I did before. Write reports and stuff. But I guess it's different that you're, like, the lead, right? Incredibly different. Okay. Well, then I would appreciate some help. I'm gonna head home, though. Go take a nap. Do you want Good me to... to you, miss. Do you want me to tell my dad about the, the movie? No, no, no. I, I don't... Um... I signed it under a pen name anyways. I I don't uh... Okay. No. Well if you okay, if you change your mind, let me know. Okay. Okay. Cause I'll be honest, I didn't Bailey. I didn't really hear much of their feedback, so I was too busy dealing with other shit, but you know. Have a good night, Dr. Arkman. Yes, Miss Bailey. God. I really did butcher that fucking movie. It was a really good premise. I just totally butchered it. Okay, so we have a few pieces of communication, and I made sure they're like nice and secured to the walls. I'm gonna see if maybe we can try and be a bit more specific, now that I have more room and more papers to work with. I know he can't interact with screens... yet. I mean, we know he can't scroll on anything yet, but maybe he can type. For now, we're gonna start with having a conversation. There's a lot of different words in there they're able to pick from. Uh, it's not very specific, but I think maybe he can zoom in on words. That might be a good idea. Um, let's see. I'm gonna have uh, this one here. Uh, they're gonna be documenting the response time it takes. This one will be... Uh, let's see. Maybe typing the words that are in the report. What was that? Miss Bailey. Oh. See, the church did get up early and, uh. Hmm. Yeah, Dr. I'm not Dark going to lie to you. This seems like the writings of a madman. Yeah, I, it, general words. Anyway, Dr. Hogman, did you feel that before you came into the room? Uh, feel what? I, I had this, this feeling of, like, deja vu. Um, I'm not certain exactly what you mean. Remember with Davis? Or even... I know he's not the original cause of deja vu, but I haven't felt it without him being the cause of it in years. I've experienced deja vu many a time before. I, I, I might... I'm sorry, Miss Bailey, I can't say for certain if that's really him or not. Yeah, I guess there really is no way to tell, huh? Not really. Deja vu is still a human thing. And while 5162 may affect it, I don't think he's the outright cause specifically for your deja vu every time. Maybe, but... I don't know what... I could be wrong. Whenever I have gotten deja vu and it's not in... It, it, it's, it's always when I'm in the office that we feel it. Remember when anything bad was going to happen? You think he's still out there? I know he's still out there. I know he's somewhere. But whatever's happening with him, maybe it's still affecting us? I mean, I was exposed to him for a very long period of time. Maybe my presence around him for such a long period of time, as I said, still kind of has me 
aware of when we have these deja vu spikes? It's just a theory, but... Miss Bailey. At some point, we would have had to guess that if he was going to die, the world might pause and stay still. If he's dead currently, I think I'd probably be hard to accept. I just don't want you to get your hopes up on a fallacy. A what if? It's not me getting my hopes up. It's me worried about whatever is happening to him might affect the Foundation. Just... <sighs> Keep your expectations low. I'm not it's even... one of the things I've ever failed at teaching you in this damn job. Kirkman, I know he's not coming back. I know no matter what's going to happen, he won't come back. Not even for me. He took the most important thing to, uh, to him with him when he left. And they're never coming back. All those years of my life spent taking care of Marcus, raising Marcus, being with Davis, it doesn't matter anymore. And I'm really trying to get over that. But what I'm feeling right now... It's gotta mean something, right? This feeling, deja vu again, when I've never felt it... It wasn't related to him. And I hope you're right. I really do. But it's not here to discuss 5162. I'm here to help you with setting all this up. Yeah. Do you have the cameras ready? They're all in there, but it's usually my like phone. It would matter, it'd be your phone. Yeah, I have my phone ready. I'll be having one of my assistants uh, exclusively focus on the messaging, like mm. see, like documenting the pictures and everything. I will be talking to them exclusively. They can exit the room. If it's really just a formality to put them in there. I see. You think this will work? Could. Could work. I hope it does. <sighs> Having an asset like 4471 on our side would prove very beneficial. The Foundation was too scared to really utilize an SCP like that. Yeah. This is breaking the stride, Miss Bailey. I don't know if he'll be useful in that sense, but at least we can foster communication between it and us. You're right. But, let's go back to your little reporting thing, yes? Yeah. Show me how it's done. Alright, there's already a template on the, um, drive somewhere. Oh, nice. Yeah. Just open it up. Mm -hmm. I know it's overwhelming right now, just, um, 